i actually come from the small business economic development area i did that for congressman murtha for many years and one of the things that i've always seen is small businesses and trying to get access to capital and i'm curious because in traveling throughout our district small businesses many times when they're going to bigger banks don't have as much success as they do with going to local community banks and i'm curious for the panel where you've received your financing if if it's been better going to the local community bank and what role the s b a played if it was helpful or if the s b a led you to a certain bank or or what you see as a as a winning strategy what i've found is that your bigger banks have people that focus on s b a loans your community banks don't have the resources necessarily to have a person who is a an s b a expert and so if you were to inject some cash into a community bank to get them a, an SBA uh, education, <laughs> I think that you, could, you would see some, some uh, SBA loans probably get freed up. But it's such a complex process at times, you know, and when you're in the, in the foxhole <laughs> it, in, and you're not really working from a strategic position, um, you need help. I've not used the SBA uh, loan process, but we do maintain a line of credit and it is with a local bank. But overall, I found the value of having a relationship. I mean, I've got a relationship with uh, people on the board of directors of my local bank. I know the leadership of the local bank. I've got a long-term personal relationship with the commercial banker that I bank with. And I think the communications and the consistency of our relationship and the, and the trust and the um, we know one another's character. To me, just the value of that local relationship and local ties has been critical to maintaining a confidence in each other, actually. You know, the reassurance that they'll be there for me and my communication with them of what I'm doing and proactive steps that I'm taking to be a, a good customer. But I, I have a hard time understanding how anybody really operates without just a, that personal kind of contact and relationship with someone that knows your business and that you know them. From, from our standpoint, when we purchased the business in 2004, it was also necessary for us to move out of our current location and into a new facility. The larger banks really didn't want anything to do with any, uh, any piece of that. We ended up with two, uh, working with two smaller banks who took the risk on us, but they knew us personally. They knew our background, and they did take the risk, and they worked with us, and everything turned out very well. Um, so certainly my, my standpoint is the, the smaller banks were there for me when I needed them, and I'll continue to, to utilize them moving forward. Well, thank you. Thank, I, I appreciate that. Um, one thing actually for uh, Mr. Dippold, I was wondering if um, uh, uh, you'd mentioned that your, your business is starting, and, and you're the only Pennsylvania company that, uh, so I know sort of the Pennsylvania geography. Um, I'm curious, you said your business is picking up and, and you've weathered the storm quite well. I'm wondering, does that mean that the auto industry is buying more from you now? Have you seen a, an increase in orders from out of the, like the GMs and the Chryslers and the Fords? Yes, um, and you know the old adage of sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Um, we've uh, a lot of our new programs that we happen to be launching over the past six months and for the next 18 months are Ford or Ford-related products that are on their new diesel applications, they're on their, their new F-150s, uh, engines that are coming out in the new designed F-150s. So we've, we've uh, aligned ourselves as a tier three supplier through Ford that has been very successful for us. So yes, we are seeing those uh, definite business increase, but a lot of our products are new applications for the industry, for, the, for that automotive supplier. 